Hello everyone, Dragonite. As you can see, we are back on Monster Hunter Stories 2. As I did a lot of farming, like of recording, I decided to do a, dis a different type of like video that I explain what's going on while the video is going. So as you can see, I are finally fought Kezu and finally beat him. Yes, finally. After that, we get a little cutscene showing Neveru, Avinia, and myself talking a little bit. Neveru saying I'm stronger. Thank you, Neveru. And after that, they're talking about the writer or the person that uh, inspired Avinia. And apparently, Neveru knowing them, and they don't remember them at first. But then they get like a little flashback. And... Apparently, Debly is the guy. I don't know who they are, but apparently, never is not really pleased with that. <laughs> he never earned the title of writer, but he did ride the great Poogie. Though, the Poogie wasn't very pleased. No, no way. Do you mean to tell me it? Okay, After that, we get to talk to Chief, uh, and we talk uh, about uh, how we beat uh, Kezu, of course. Then we talk about the, f the famous spit with the light that get monster completely mad, and the hunter, the guild, called them the light rage rays. So that's uh, new info we have about the pit and um, the new light that make the monster mad. So that's an int interesting. And then apparently there's a pit close to the village, so we have to find them. And and I want to find old Dede. So that's the, what we are at the moment searching for the pit and old Dede. Please be careful out there. I'm not sure why, but the monsters near that pit have been acting up. You're telling me the Xantrios we met outside the village was not what I would call friendly. I see. It seems to be happening all around. The guild's calling the lights Rage Rays. Rage Rays? The strange light from the pits is what's enraging monsters. At least, that's the guild's theory. Light that makes monsters mad. You may run into some rage raid monsters by the pit. Keep an eye out. Don't worry about us, Chief. Let the legendary duo handle this. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. Thank you. Good luck, my friends. We've been searching far and wide, but still no trace of old Day Day. The felines and I will keep up the search. Feeling we're being watched. After we talk it out to the chief, we went into a cutscene showing that Neveru felt watched, and it was uh, actually true. <laughs> and then we uh, talk about a bit more about the lies, the pit, and they came up with that the fact that my character or myself is a bit scared uh, with the bond with Rata. And there, that's why Rata is not showing his true powers, because I'm, it's like I'm not not confident in him or something like that. And I mean, I talk about how sensitive the monsters are to the feelings. So that's why uh, Rata is not showing his true power because I'm scared. And then whenever we feel again watched, and shortly after when he called that the fans need to show up. There's a pit coming up, so that's where we're going next. If Ratha really does have that power, I'm sure I wouldn't know what to do either. But monsters listen to their riders. And if there's worry or doubt in your voice, Ratha will become anxious too. 
They say that my buddy's grandpa could understand what monsters were saying. But this is the first time I've heard about monsters understanding people. Monsters are extremely sensitive to feelings. It's not words, but emotions. They don't have a language like us. So maybe that's why they're more attuned to feelings. I guess that makes sense. If you're scared, Rafa won't be able to show his true power. He needs to know that you will protect him no matter what. That's the spirit. Something wrong, Nabiru? Hmm, it really feels like we've been watched this whole time. But by who? I don't see anyone. Hmm. Sweet toe beans! Do I have fanatical fans following me? I wish they wouldn't be so shy. I love meeting my fans! <sighs> Could that be? Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. We've got trouble. We'd better hurry, buddy. When we arrive through the pit, we check a bit around, and Rata is getting a bit agitated for the first time. And we have our stalker still, of course, checking on us. And yeah, I was wondering why Rata was still so agitated. Then we get attacked by surprise, surprise, Celtas. I'm re I was really surprised to see Celtas in this game. And yeah, and I saw the queen came in. So I was like, wow, that is surprising because I knew that these two were in the older games. I think it was Generation or something like that. But yeah, I was really happy to see them in this game. It was a nice surprise. We both fought them and beat them quite easily at, at uh, the end. But that was a nice fight. I was really happy to see these two. Hello there. Celtus Queen! A double whammy and rage raid! Round one. Fight! Claws victory. After we fought Saltas and his queen, our kinship powered up again, which was a nice surprise. And then we decided to go back to the chief to report like the new um, pet and the Saltas and his queen. And of course, we have Tsukino and Kyle still checking on us. And they were like not sure if it was the good one, but yeah, they wanted to report to the hunters, so that was not a good time. And also my kin should level up to 4, so that was the nice comeback to Monster Hunter Stories 2. I, I have more story, sorry, more video working on right now, so I hope you're excited to see the, continu the continuation of this series. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you all next time. Bye. Yes, let's go. Let's head to the village. Shouldn't we request backup from the other hunters? Your reasoning? Hmm. I just have a bad feeling. Okay then. Let's reach out to them. Oh. I thought you'd object. It's just as you said. We shouldn't wait until it's too late. Besides, I hear your instincts are spot on. I see. Well then. But... I'm a bit disappointed. Huh? Why? Oh, it's neither here nor there. <laughs>